God knows of an enemy that's rising up against our country, and he wants to help. So he's sending us a simple test of faith message for us to show a continued faith and obedience to him. And as this is done, he said that he would send the Holy Spirit into the heart and mind of that enemy to not go to war against us, but that they still have choice. And they may decide to still go to war against us, and in which case, if we have shown a continued faith and obedience to him, God would move in our behalf during the war, which is quite valuable. I wouldn't want to go to war without him. And every time he sends a message, he always supports it with prophecy. He had me begin saying that there would be a tsunami in the Pacific Ocean. This has been around 15 years ago. And that happened. And then he had me say, thus says the Lord of hosts, there will be more tsunamis in the Pacific Ocean, not in the other oceans nor seas yet. Then that happened like seven times. And then he had me say that there would be a tsunami in the Pacific Ocean and seas. So I did that. And there was tsunamis in the Pacific and the Aegean Sea and the Labrador Sea. Now he has me saying, thus says the Lord of hosts, there will be a tsunami in the Pacific Ocean and the Chukchi Sea. Out of over 40 seas in the world, God's going to specify one sea that's going to have a tsunami and hope that we begin to pay attention to the message. God really wants to help our country and I really want to help him help too. The message, he's asking our nation to cease one particular contentiousness pertaining to all herbs. And then he's asking our nation again, as a nation, to begin to lift up the poor and needy whom are among us. And the third part is a vision that he had given me probably over 30 years ago. And it was a very, very vivid dream while I was asleep. And I had the same dream three nights in a row so the same thing happened. The only thing that was different was where I was living. I have choice where I could be living, but regardless where I choose to be living, the same thing was going to happen. And it shot out of the sky down into the ocean in the Pacific very fast. And it lines up with revelations in the Bible that speaks of a star named Wormwood that will impact this earth. This is further down the line. It's not in our immediate generation. Our immediate generation lines up with revelations in the Bible of a day that will come when there will be earthquakes in divers places. And in these days, all nations with shorelines shall be affected. So it's easy for us now to just go to our revelations in the Bible and see what time it is. We're at the beginning days of the earthquakes in divers places. There you are. Thank you, Richard. Thank you, man. God bless you. God bless you.